Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dave and today I'm going to do a conversion process on my Chinese mini digger and put quick connect hydraulic couplings on my valve body of the third function. So if you have a Chinese mini digger then you may find that these valve bodies on this third function are quite similar. I have seen another variety where it actually has the flow control on the top but the body looks much the same. In my case this black control here has a notch in it and basically when it's upright it blocks the flow coming through the valve body. When you turn it and it runs this way then oil flows from the input to the output. So at the minute it's turned off. I've loosened these connections off already so let's just run through what our current system is for using this if we want to connect a auger drive or a uh, tilting mud bucket or you may even have a hydraulic thumb that you want to use this with. So what we would have to do is remove this dust cover and put it somewhere where you're not going to lose it or it's not going to get dirty and then wherever the hose comes in from your implement you would have to connect it up and line the threads up and put it in, tighten it up, and then we could be off using whatever our attachment was. So that's what we've got currently, so that's the, as it comes from the factory. So what we're going to do is do the conversion process, it's really quite quick. So the first thing we're going to do is actually replace this part only, and this is called a hydraulic nipple coupler. And I've loosened this off with a spanner, so I'm just going to spin it out so we can have a look at what it is. And when it comes out, you can see that it's actually got two different sized threads. It's got a bigger thread on this side and a smaller thread on this side. This thread is called a 3 8 of an inch BSPP. So that's British Standard Parallel Pipe Thread. And because it's a parallel thread, the seal is actually from this O-ring that sits here. And then a metal ring sits on the outside and that gives you just enough value when it's sealed up that that o-ring stops any oil leaks. On the other side it's a smaller connector and this is called a metric light connector and how this is measured is on the inside diameter of this opening here which is eight millimeters so this side of the connection is actually called an eight light eight metric light connector and that's what currently is um, the same as on all the pipes and hoses that go to our attachments. So I've got this out, I'm not going to throw this away because I'm going to use this in a minute. What we're going to do is replace it with another coupler that actually has the 3 8 BSPP connections on both sides. So you'll see that it's got a rubber seal on that side and it's got a rubber seal on that side. So this just goes into the valve body screws in the same way and now on this side we have a 3 8 BSPP instead of our metric light connection and that connection will actually fit this coupler here and this coupler is made to a standard called an ISO 7241A which is means that a lot of different manufacturers around the world actually use it in talking about threads, there are maybe three different types of threads that you may find wherever you are in the world. So this particular thread, this BSPP, is quite common in Europe, England, uh, South, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand and throughout Asia. There is another variation of this which is a BSPT which is a British Standard uh, tapered fitting and there's an American system in the US that's called an NPT or National Pipe Taper Thread. So the benefit of these is because it has a rubber seal we don't need to use thread tape on this because when we screw it in the seal is actually on the rubber. So the other thing I bought at the hydraulic shop were just some rubber caps. So what I'm going to do is put this on first before I screw it in and that just basically goes on there and then we can screw this in. 
and I'll just do it hand tight. I'm not going to do it up spanner tight at the minute. So it goes right in. You can see when it contacts that rubber seal and there we are. And the beauty of these rubber plugs, and they're really, these are quite cheap, they're only a couple of dollars each, is it allows you then to um, seal that up when you're not using any attachments and it keeps all the dirt out of that connection side. So we've got that sorted now for the valve body. If we go back to our hose, and that's our hose there, so I'm going to now reuse this one that came out of the block here and put the metric to the metric side here and this seals by a rubber o-ring that's in there so that's a different sort of system that fits inside and then we put this on and once that's on then that thread there is the same 3 8 bspp that we've put in here so then you can get the mail connector and that just goes on the top there screws in the same way again there's a rubber seal there it goes all the way down to the seal and then it tightens and then that's on the pipe and the same we can do here is put a rubber dust cap on there so when we're not using it we can actually push the rubber cap on and that stops dirt getting onto the end of our connection there so then the benefit of the quick connects is that you just basically have to line them up uh, pull the collar back, push it in, and then it locks down, and that's our connection. And it makes it a lot easier than having to manually unscrew it and then line it up and put it back together. And then undoing it is just pulling the collar up, and it comes out. And put your dust cap back in, and then away you go. My connectors are called the poppet style connector. So in these ones, they have a small center pin here and it's called a poppet style the other types that you can get are a half ball or a half moon type in the middle here and the third style is a flat face connector now i bought these ones because the hydraulic shop recommended these because they're most common where i am so if you had another piece of equipment turn up chances are it would have this same sort of male connector on it the downside of this particular style connector is every time you disengage the quick coupler is there is a chance of having some oil leak out of the connection. If you have the flat style connection, which is the newer design, is the almost guarantee that when you disconnect them that there is no oil that comes out of them at all. It's less than like one mil. But you pay for that as well. Um, I think the difference between buying a poppet style connector and a flat style connector, I think the flat style ones are about double the cost of these ones. But you may be faced if you go and buy these that there are the three options that you can pick from. This is what you're going to need to do your conversion. So you're going to need to buy two female quick connect couplers. The size of those are 3 8 of an inch and the thread is BSPP. You also need two of the male connectors, 3 8 of an inch, and you need two of the nipple couplers in 3 8 of an inch as well. In addition to that, I would also suggest it's a good idea to buy the rubber dust caps and put those on when you're not using the attachments, and it keeps everything nice and clean. Couplers, uh, to put the new uh, BSB nipple coupler there was only about $7. The actual part of the female quick connects was about $35 and then the male end here was about $18 and the plugs are two or three dollars each these rubber dust plugs so that's all pretty cheap so what would happen then if you have another attachment and in my case I've got an auger dryer so I've got two of these pipes that come from the auger drive motor so one to this side one to the other side on my tilting bucket, what I would have to do is go and buy another two of these male connectors and another two of these nipple couplers that had BSB on one side and eight metric light on the other side. And these weren't really common. When I went to the hydraulic shop, 
they don't do a lot of these so I had to get them to order another two in for my tilting mud bucket so I could put it on the pipe and have that ready to go. So there we are, that's a pretty quick conversion process. It's not very hard to do but I just, it took a while for me to actually find a supplier um, that had the right bits that knew what I, I wanted rather than doing a big long conversion with lots of different types of things in there. But once it's on, it's a great process that allows you to put it on nice and simply and makes it a lot easier when you're swapping attachments. All right, that's about all for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.